The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. Hey! In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time. Yes. Yeah man, one more week. One more episode of In the Meantime. Yes. Episode 19. Yes. The Masculated Meal. <laughs> yes. All right. I know. All right. Curly Locks Device Box. I'm here checking. Another week indeed. Yeah, man. Another episode of In the Meantime. Pastor, well, you look like you're not going home for me last yeah, time. So. I haven't. But that's a long story. <laughs> what and and actually beside the point. Hey, Virgin. Hey. If you know you're not drinking enough you know, protein, I, I and you know, say so you're not strong, don't make in the meantime match up your love life, you know, Bridget. Duty calls, my brother. And um, as you say, when duty calls, you have to answer. Yeah, man. Because one must prioritize their career as a man, yes. my brother. Yes. Your career must come first. Yes. And, and what you put in, you get out, and your career is the only thing that. Is sure to give back to you whatever you put into it. Uh, yes. I'm learning, my brother. I'm, I'm <laughs> learning from you. All right, all yes, right. Yes, my brother. I'm yes. here to pass time. Actually learning. All right. Good, good. <laughs> so you said it. All right. I'm ready for you. strong. All right. Let's go. This part of the program is brought to you by Voicebox Studios, the voice of a nation. And Madvert Multimedia. If it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. Also brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections. It's at Rebel 13 Collections for the finest in custom design clothing and everything printing. Except fingerprinting. Also brought to you by Next Level Fitness. As I talk about Next Level Fitness Bridging, I see a man with the tell me say he lost 200 pounds. I tell him say, at a whole heap of money that we lose in a hard time yeah. You must say, no man, I, I wait. I talk about, I wait, me lose for next level fitness man because uh, King Bully, them thing, no normal Dean Jones, and no normal Smuddy. And another level? Yeah man, me I tell you all some belly where we turn up in front of people like some serious mountain where we can't move with feet. Them man, the program, move it totally out of the way. Yeah man, all some serious belly. We, we, we in your life like man in bread. Where you brush your teeth no and buy a man and I eat that again. Just Instagram at next level fitness 13 and brush your teeth for life. We have a serious. Also brought to you by Bounce About Kids Party Rentals. Instagram them at, at Bounce About. That's at Bounce B U N X About. Or call 1 876 404 1714. And customize an experience for your child that they will never forget. Never forget. Never forget. In the meantime. In the meantime, and between time, what is coming is coming. All right, Alex Genocide, big up yourself. Yes, people, check out them. Them have a thing on name, Man Talk on YouTube. Check it out. Yeah, man, them are try to spread the word. All right. All right, pastor. All right. I'll kick it off like this, I know. All right. The comment of the day is coming from Superstar Alric. Alric has said, I used to live in New York for a number of years. I recently returned home to build a home and settle down and retire. So I hired a professional construction company who were indeed very professional, as they were very transparent and did everything by the book. However, by the time the house came out of foundation and a few blocks were laid, the people from the community of Alman Town in which I grew up started saying that I sold out because I knew that Delroy, who was like my best friend growing up, was now a contractor and that I should have used him. Out of guilt, I cancelled the professional construction company and employed Delroy. This is one of the worst mistakes I have ever made. As ever since, my peace of mind and my sanity have been reduced to little or non-existent. Sometimes for days, he would not show up to work and when he did show up, he was always late 
And whenever I confronted him about being late, he would make excuses and say things like, my work is not the only work that he has doing and that he cannot be on my site by 6 a.m. because he has a life and a wife that he has to service and that he doesn't fuck man and also that his kids come before any work. Mark you, this was a man that I already paid a large and substantial amount of money. I noticed that he would overestimate the material cost for everything. For example, he estimated that I needed 300 bags of cement to build a simple 10 foot trench and two ton of steel for a standard one bedroom. One day I got a voice note on WhatsApp from somebody who recorded him without his knowledge where he was boasting of selling my material because I had endless money because according to him, a foreign me I come from. At that point, I just decided to accept my losses and I rehired the original construction company. Since rehiring them, I am now the proud owner of a seven-bedroom mansion in Beverly Hills. Would you believe that the same Delray is now going everywhere and slandering my name? Saying that, oh, I prefer the big man over the small man. And that I am fighting down my own. I think I am going to kill Delroy. No, no. And turn in myself. No, my brother. Please advise. No, no. All right, all right. Don't you know? do that, my brother. I don't advise no, that. Yeah, no, that, no, do that something, my brother. No, that's not the way. Delroy, dead already, my brother. Man. He's a walking dead. When you're spiritually immature, he's a walking dead. When you're a walk and look for life. Because you don't have the courage to organize it. Yeah, man, the spiritual immaturity turn up in a Delray and I go, no way, my brethren. A whole heap of people too. We make you find out what the can, in other in, in words, contractor mean. And this attitude there towards business is why, like me I say in the last episode, is why many youth can't find the man there that self there. Where people have a respect, and even themselves have a respect. One of the major hurdles for achieving that kind of self day is when you don't understand business. So watch I know, Harry. Let me tell you something. Spiritual immaturity. And I can't say enough. Is when people not reach the level in them consciousness where they can pick a side and stay upon it. In other words, they don't reach spiritual maturity. Where they can pick the side and say, and that yes, I go and that direction I walk. A immature person, a spiritual immature person is so caught up for what others think about them. So them consumed and obsessed with being everything to everyone all at once. So it makes it difficult for them to have a plan or a aim in a particular direction. Cause, cause remember now, you know, when you have an aim or a plan, it makes you calm because you know exactly where you're going. You have a roadmap to where you're going. So it make obstacles easier to deal with where you go encounter. All right, put it like this now. When a man have money in him pocket, you know, let's say then food in him cupboard, all boat, and him knows he have food. He's not hungry, you know. He's not. You're not hungry when you know the food in your cupboard. But make you don't know where food will come from. You name everything. You think so? Yes, man. Consider the mind of the spiritually immature. Like the mind of that person there when you see no food in the cupboard and just say, Yeah, man, if you have everything, I'm just greedy. Yeah, man, him paranoid because him don't know, him don't know where it come from. Him just have to grab everything in every direction. Him not sure about nothing, so him go after everything one time. Now consider the mind now of the spiritually mature person. As that person there, we have the plan and make sure it's the food in the cupboard. Them develop a type of confidence that way them know say dead is so them not have stress. But let me say again one more time. When you don't know where you're going, it's hard for stable mentally because you're always paranoid. And you take this paranoia and this overly emotional approach to everything. Even the workplace, you think? Yeah, man, including work. Really? What you mean? You know, you're the man I tell the man. Say him no fuck man when him for the man place early. And I say I'm picking them come first and him now nah put no work over and picking them. That's nonsense. That's yeah, man, because be why? How him gonna survive? The same survive. How him gonna survive? They won't. If him, if him can't be a man and stand up. You have to work to ensure oh, that. Yeah, man, I'm job go can't make him do that. And normally when them type of people you know, end up a suffer later on in life for the consequence of those choices, you know. And the same people them will try to help and support them end up and get the blame, you know. Like how Delroy blame Alric for this thing. Uh, when the problem are really in fucking attitude. 
Most people feel like them talented, so that's all they want to make it in a life around here. Fuck her that, you think. And your attitude determine your altitude. Yeah, man, and the word of the day is altitude. Altitude mean height. How high you reach. That's why you see some man with way less talent than some other people reach way far than them because they know how to move them attitude right. I see them so this little youth I used to sell pan a style, you know, sell fruits, you know, man. I mean, I'll tell you, say, every time we are drive past this, so I carry up on top of traffic to buy from the little youth because the youth have customer service. Lock! I smile upon him face and apology for something wrong. And the youth think I work for the longest while till three and four family them fight him out and take with the style and take with the spot. And I tell people for for, for I'm rotten these berry and go suck them mother. In a three week, me no see them back. Police kill one and hungry nearly kill two. Them fees say all them want was the same fruits and them good. No, you have to carry the same attitude. Where the little you did have, my brother. Yeah. Where does the problem really start in in, in these situations, my brother? Well, one word for that, you know, a familiarity, you know. Because when you when you immature and you get familiar with things and people that dis or disrespect people them. People do that? Yeah man, when you get used to them with a sexual relationship or otherwise, you have to mature if you deal with familiarity, kind of come. You think so? Yeah man, they never see all the situation yet way. Mm. A man have all a, a opportunity to go work with somebody where is of a certain status. Status. And then now after a certain time pass certain and then get used to this person, they'll be a disrespect. Violate. And if that person they now send go broke two foot off him tape measure or pop two finger off him bunch of banana here, so the man wicked. They cry foul to the referee. Yeah man, it's it's sad. But let me tell you this man. Immature people upon every level of life cannot deal with familiarity and that's why most people have to deal with them wicked. That's true. Spiritually immature people have to always move on in pursuit of something perfect. Sad reality. Anything you do for this start the image where them hold are you in a for them head. When, when before them know you. Anytime them realize that you can shit and fart. And you have the same regular problem like everybody else. You fuck. fuck. In the meantime. All right, superstar Alric, you deal with this thing wrong to my bridge. You, you bring so? emotions in this thing. Yeah. You think he did that? Yes, man. How you mean so? if he bring? How you mean if he do so? that? He do that. I want to know. I tell also because the man make people intimidate him. Can grow with this a man and that the man. It all look away all kind of fuckery. That's why you hear me come with that thing when you have the courage to offend. And speaking about that, you know, there is so much information in a planet Earth that it morph in a more than one book. So planet Earth volume one, the idea and the process now are gonna deal more with the mind. And how much of an illusion everything we think we see and know in terms of reality is it will, planet Earth will, if you allow it, help you to achieve the balance where you need if you have a certain mindset will help you use the information in every other book. It will show you how to become somebody who use their mind instead of the mind use them. So the second volume, Planet Earth Volume 2, the courage to offend now, deal now with the more interpersonal relationships. We are going to show you now how to break free from the enslavement by people opinion. We keep you in a one place. The first book, I'm going to show you how to develop the mind. We are going to show you how to use the information in the second one. So, yeah, so look out for that. My brother, yeah. getting back to the business that we were talking about before. Yeah. If you're working with a family member, yeah. shouldn't you acknowledge, my brother, oh, yeah. that this is your family over, let's say, a stranger? Bre my brother, shouldn't you react to them in Bre two different ways? No, man, you can't have no feelings in a business. In a business, you're not a no friend, you're not a no family. They left a business hours. During work hours, you have to compartmentalize see the word there again. Go and go look it up if you don't remember it. During work hours, you have to see say this person is not your brother, is not your sister, is not your cousin. You have to see say your boss, or your supervisor, or your co worker. During work hours are the objective, in other words, what we are aiming to achieve, and that alone matter. So when you hear the man, they say, get it done. And then your friend or family are tell you that. So the bag are talking, we are going to start talking. And the bag are excused and I go around in a circle. Because your feet say, your brother or your sister, this is a chat to. A nice. Shut the fuck up, it's not relevant. Hey, me I tell you, say. Jamaica have some of the most talented set of idiots I ever seen in my entire life. But why you say that though? Because most people with talent, 
in a Jamaica, spiritually immature, them cannot work with nobody that's why the country. Not going anywhere. If most of them people here did mature, spiritually mature, and know for move. May I tell you, say, Africa would have wake up and see Jamaica, Pana Beach, somewhere over there. In other words, we'd have reached far. Would be much further, you think? What you mean? You have people, people, I had them for come paint them off. And them got the people in the yard go see a nice place and the man them get bad mind and thief the people them things and mash up the people them place and run away. And their country are high than a big hundred dollar for buy weed. And boom. Before the man them make it inspire them and say them all go and save them, them, them look up paint money, lick a lick until in the future them can have something like this. But them spiritually immature, them can't wait. Them want it now and right now as somebody else own. So stop them mother, mash up this. Bad mind. Exactly. Them can't work with nobody. Them carry competition and jealousy go everywhere. All people them a fuck. Them bad mind. So what's the, the solution, my brother? Let's say someone want to grow up and um, take responsibility. How do they proceed, my brother? In, 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 in business, my brother. The solution, my brethren, is simply, like Mr. say already and I go say again, respect not only the principles of business, but the disciplines of business. In other words, apply a business model in terms of the disciplines to every area of your life in, in relation to relationship and see if they don't work. Because remember again, you know, the same approach to anything by any level have the same consequence or reward if the same approach is used by any level. I mean, now nah, talk say you're going to turn your relationship now, you know, in a, some kind of mechanical, robotic type of dull, emotionless kind of thing. Me I say, use the basic disciplines of literal business for guide your intimate relationship then. Where you don't compromise upon the work where it takes to make it work. I understand to an extent, but not so fully. What do you mean? How could you expound? All right. Consider a successful business and where it takes to make it work. What's that? A successful product. Now consider the successful product of a successful marriage then. As the mutually beneficiary peaceful atmosphere we each party bring to the table. In other words, we can take off the mass and stop put on the show where we have to put on for the rest of the world and other people when we are around this person. Here. And we can trust them with the weakness. That is where relationship is for. For help one another carry the burden that life in its entirety can and must be. We have to treat one another like customer service agent. We are sell this product here. Yeah. And anything go wrong with it, we are apologetic. And do anything to fix it back. And keep the customer. Because that is the objective. And we have to mean it when we say sorry. And we have to can deal with the customer complaint. You know, say, oh, we don't say sorry already. Where you are? You're going to lose the customer. Because they want a return upon them investment. Which in the case of marriage or long-term relationship. Is them time and effort with them putting it. So try your best grow the fuck up and keep the customer. Because the truth is, other company out there will provide the same service. So behave your fucking self and sell the product. But the problem we are mash up every relationship at every level right now is that thing we me see as systemic narcissism. We come from the rules where rotate and repeat daily through the media. Everything around we will create our belief system. And I cannot stress enough that me-ness, this egocentric me-ness, everything is all about me. It creates a mass amount of people who see everybody as a slave with them own. Yeah, man, slave to feed them interests. Them do not see real people with real feelings, real concerns. Your life is about me. This mindset. Boy, I mean, no, no, this type of belief system, this kind of social order, what we are faced right now, bring about what me call Maragidian. I'm <laughs> should I say a marriage, I'm a Gideon. In other words, the end of marriage and relationship as we know it. I wouldn't say that though. I wouldn't. Oh, you that. mean, Pastor, with a mindset? Because people feel be immature, so immature, that's one or both person, see? The idea of success as having the other person looking up. Kneeling and looking up to them. Rather than, like me say already, looking across and each other. In other words, side by side, hand in hand. Ready to buckle anything together. Come what me. But instead, most people are fight one another. Plus the world. In the meantime. Right now, pastor, me I tell you, say, boy, me I tell you. This is the worst. 
letter of the day. I could have never envision so me go read something like this on the program. Come I'll on. Tell you that. It can't be that bad. I, I, All right, I don't, don't hold on. What I know? It a come from Shemar Johnson. It's a greeting, Curly Locks. I am a huge fan of all your works. Been listening from ever since I was in high school. I like all the Street Up volumes and all your music. But I especially love In The Meantime and its level of depth and the way you break down complicated issues in relation to human relationships on every level. However, tonight I am writing from a place, a very dark place. And I fear that I have lost the fire that this program sparked in my heart and helped me with my self-development since I have been listening. The problem that took the wind out of my seal is that me and my wife have been married for over 10 years. We have a four-year-old son. I work very hard to make sure that my son don't come up as a fatherless child like I did. I take care of my wife and son. They are my first priority. I drive truck for a living. Sometimes I am on the road for days at a time. Last December, I made a trip and came back from Arizona. One day earlier than expected, I bought her her favorite white chocolate, saying I would surprise her. But believe me, I got the surprise instead. As I walked into my house and found my wife, and my so-called best friend, both dressed in bath robes. When I confronted her and asked her what was the meaning of this, she flipped it on me, saying that I was too paranoid and where was the evidence that they were doing anything. She stated that it was a hot day and that they both wanted to cool down. She was extremely upset, so I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Later on in January, I would find out in the most cruelest of ways that she started a full-time relationship with Sean. As one day my son was playing with his mother's phone as he usually does. After some time playing by himself, he took the phone to me, asking, Daddy, what is this? Mommy is biting up Uncle Sean. Needless to say what was happening in the video. And when I confronted her, Again, she made it seem like I was the one who did something wrong. However, because I wanted a better life for my son and I wanted an actual family that wasn't broken like the one I grew up in, I forgave her and tried to make it work. And she became worse as the better I treated her, the worse she treated me. And I just couldn't and I still can't understand it. In March... She would file for divorce and take my son. When I envisioned the life where I become a FaceTime father instead of a full-time father, I am so scared it is unbearable. If I cannot be in his life, I don't want to be in life. Chan no me at him continue to say. I just wanted to hear episode 19 before I go. One last hashtag time. Get it in a bracket. I will be listening that episode and then I am out of here. I also pre ordered your upcoming book, Planet Hurt. I will be leaving it to my younger brother who still lives with our mother. I just couldn't go on. Don't feel bad. Keep doing the wonderful work. Hey, Bridging. Shema, don't be rash. Don't hear me at hey, Bridging. Don't, don't, don't do, do that, that my brother. Now. Wait for your book and read your book yourself. Read for understand and we can guarantee you say you're not going to feel the same way. You're going to realize everything where you think you know is an illusion. Everything where you feel right now come off of misguided beliefs and therefore is unnecessary. Watch I know, Shemar. The case with you and your baby mother now slash ex-wife is a case where me have deal with two addicts. Yeah, man. To, to, me I deal with a case of addiction. Yeah, so. You think so? What <laughs> you mean? Of really course. So. Yeah, man. Because watch her. She know me suspect like the typical modern girl of this, again, this idea of everything while ignoring the processes that make them work. I cannot say that enough. And you know is addicted to the idea of this wonderful family that you never had. 
And you not think either about the processes, the mechanics of, of how to bring this into existence in terms of the details, in terms of whether this girl here is a girl who have a certain kind of understanding of life, if she's spiritually mature, if she can angle pressure. Like the typical nowadays you, yeah, look good, ready? No! Again, we're just dying for sure, everybody, so we find it. We have everything that makes us whole. All we are think about is pretty face and whole. I know them gone with the picnic and we life them on hole. I don't see it like that. Hey, nobody thinks of them kind of addiction. Yeah. It's, not, it's an accident, you know, Pastor. What is it? A programming from both sides. How so? Oh, you mean how so? How so? From the youth, them little bit. Them use all fairy tale and them things. They program. All right. Look at a story like Snow White and the Seven Dwarf. I will if them something have some serious symbolism in them in a rasta. I would have tell them I tell the little girl them if for them small say them have all seven man. And the dwarf doesn't know good that means the relationship them have to be some short one. Good God! Look on right. look on a story like the princess and the frog now. Oh, here we go. Where the princess it was mm. it, mm. and the princess, this princess have to come in now, come princess. save this brother, come kiss this froggy and turn him in a prince. Automatically the message that so is. It's what? Fem existence need fear approval. My and the frog does so now means a fem existence is an ugly one without her. And it's much needed approval. You're paranoid now. You're getting paranoid. I mean, we are talking about paranoid. We're paranoid, my We're paranoid, my brother. What I say? Well, it doesn't man. make sense. Everything round we are programmed with. Right round the clock. And talking about clock, you won't call me paranoid. You have to remember, say, I mash up clock right even two times a day. What you mean? Oh, you mean what me mean? I want to know. Then if the clock stuck past 6 30, then 6 30 in the morning and 6 30 in the evening, no must come. Then the clock not right them two times there. You do have a point. Why you think some people have some beliefs, religious and otherwise, but don't make no sense? And them have to know that. And them can't change it. Why is that? Because they're addicted to them beliefs the amount of time these things repeat from them born. See Shemar, alright, see Shemar won't kill himself, you know. You think Shemar or any human at all place such an attachment for anything overnight? Them they find a part there, that trajectory there from them born. And, and, and now Shemar in this case is an addict. What you mean? Hey, alright. You, you think a cook mash up a coke head? Of course I do. What you talking about? Well, 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 what you say? You think a cook, a coke head itself mash up the coke head. That's yes, right. I do believe that. Don't you? No. My what what you, you believe, believe that? then? What is how people deal with the coke when them find out they take coke. Because if they used to take 10 grand to do a particular thing, a man now won't give more than 5 bills now because I know they have coke in my tech. So the 5 bills they start going to coke alone, him not buy food, him not buy soap, him not buy nothing. Else. Him have a maga dung and him have a stink. And then we have to say, look where coke do him. No, look where we do him because we know. And the same thing in other case I know with Shemar. He's addicted to love. But you think I love mash him up? It's how the woman deal with him because she knows. Is that so? Yeah, man. Really? The coke head and the love head are the same. For the coke head a coke. For the love head a love. Is the number one priority. He surrender every aspect of his life to the object of this love. She's the center. No other area in life now get service. Him have no identity outside of she. I mean, I say coke a good something, you know. I say, all addiction behave the same. Anything where you can't do it out, control you. And when you can't do it out, people and them know that they're fucked. Because this addiction, you know, you know, Shemar. And the way it make you behave, give her the strength to have you as weak. She'll look on you like, say, if life did have teeth, you'd have rotten it. Because you're too sweet. We're doing sometimes we have to look for objective reality and deal with that. Because no matter what kind of stress you go through, you have to realize, eh, hey, alright, how much time you ever go in a room, alright, how much romed woman, you know? You hardly see a romed woman. I'm gonna say this all the while, just go to any random funeral. And just say, what kill him? I'm sure them now go correct you and say that woman. 90% of the time. Man, smaller than a mouth that woman. And yet still man dead more than woman. And we and I whole high pressure. So Shamar, let me tell you something, man. There are certain issues at work where you don't have certain understanding. Half where you, you know, blame yourself when it comes to certain things where you go through in a relationship. Because you have certain subconscious issues where sometimes your partner at the mercy of and them themselves not even know. 
And you blame yourself. Because, all right, funny how you should have said, at January, you find out that she gone all out with your bridging. Because, did you know, say, based on a collection of data from extramarital affair websites? Yeah, man, you have them websites there. We have a talk about people, people go give one pan. Did you know, say, in a January, every January, them see a spike of over 320%. Annually, of people, especially married people, who are seek for cheat. And when interviewed, some of these subscribers claim say them partners are stifling them and they must seek a little bit more out of life because they realize the whole year that they are wasting their lives. Hey, pastor, this is not new, you know. No, it's not new from your baby I come up. Every single human when we sit on here at December and I'm the best person for January. Oh, my New Year's resolution is this. Only thing that spirit they know transfer in the relationship aspect. It makes sense. New year, new me, new girl, new man. I'm going to take my life so serious this year. I'm going to find my best self till April. And I cannot say this enough. The internet and social media is a, is a big part of this. Mara Gideon or Mara Apocalypse. Because the idea say so you have this option, you know, this bag of option pack up in your DMs. It, it stop you from put a hundred percent in a no kind of relationship because you feel like you can always have better. Funny again, you know, Shemar. Statistics indicate say so there's a peak in a divorce every year in a March. And when them people are doing, you know, especially the woman, them, you know. Me I go say again, is that thing when you escapism, they might escape the responsibility of putting in the work where the, where, where the relationship require them. So every time that work, they confront them, them gone on. So in December now with the stress and they might look back on them life and them warm back this nice new thing and when them feel like them 16 again, them find an excuse and gone, man, and make you feel like a your fault. And that are the real tragedy of born, you know. Because 90% of the time, it's an excuse them are fine for go to fuckery. Not no deal. Alright, see that now. See addiction here again, you know. They're addicted to that idea of what life supposed to be because they are measure life you now from the standard that when they never have certain responsibility. And that they are measure life by, you know, when mommy used to leave dinner and life was just so good with her boyfriend and they had no cares or troubles in the world. So every time trouble come, problem, because them want a different experience. This is not what happiness is. It doesn't come with trouble. So she finds somebody else to go bubble. <laughs> that rhyme, you know. <laughs> yeah, tell it rough out the road. Especially now when they're in their 30s now and they say, Oh, this is not what I signed up for or bargained for. And they just keep moving. And again, them don't realize that them value a job. And them just do it until them not a value at all left. Let me see how the perfect life and the perfect man until I'm in a nursing home. I admire that 94-year-old guy named Mortimer. My question for you is, my yeah. mother, yeah, yeah. is why when the relationship is going so, mm. don't these guys just move on and, 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 and find happiness elsewhere? Virgin, I don't get it, mama. You're not think broad. Like most people, you're not think broad. Because, all right, watch out. Watch out me I say now. You can just broadly say what you say, like what most people quick for say, you know. But nobody think about the details. Which are? Which is that, in a case like this, when children involve, it change the dynamics. It motivate, uh, yeah, it motivate a real man for want to keep him family. So unfortunately, when the phone call, them are coming upon our phone for most women, them feel like a them, the man a call and a run down because in a for them mind, a them alone love the child, have a connection to the child, you know, the man don't feel, the man don't love the youth. He a run me down, you want to see them sometime, I'll show them new boyfriend or the man, them up on the side, him disgusting, you see, him just a call, call me, me can't bother with him. Don't flatter yourself. Most of the time when the man a call her because just like Shemar. Him do want him you to be a fatherless child. And in cases like those, it takes strength. But you have a downside. Because you have a next set of man now where you use the picture as an excuse and a really woman him want. So, it's rough, bro. It's rough. Because the weak and the strong look awfully alike in a Babylon. So, only when you grow up, you have that spiritual foresight that you can tell the difference. Shemar, let me tell you something. You see the suffering where you're afraid of right now. You see the things where you're afraid for face. In a those circumstances, your salvation day no my bridging. Hey, a little boy about four year old asked me one time, where is Evan? I'm tell him, say, I have to go to L and take the right. In other words, do the right thing, no matter what I go wrong. 
For you or anyone who face any kind of pressure right now, I don't know what to do. I want to do me a favor. Google this poem here named Invictus by Ernest Henley. I recite it till you know it. I it me use and remind myself so me tougher than every circumstance so me go ever face. Here goes. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms the harrow of the shade. And yet the menace of the years, finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, or how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. And the captain of my soul. Captain of my soul. Captain of my soul. In the meantime. What's in the news, my brother? I fuss in a long while, me not even want to know. Me I tell you the truth, Bridget. Me I tell you that. Because what you know. Six big women, some of them as far as in a them late thirties, gang this little girl here. To near death. It's alleged that uh, Kaelan and her friend attend this illegal after curfew party. It is alleged that while at this party, uh, Kaelan was looking at a specific female patron and the patron decided that she don't like how Kaelan and look upon her. It is alleged that either Kaelan or Kaelan friend say, what happened? Where you texting me? And the fight between either Kaelan or the friend and this patron here start. They don't quote me upon that because I know them say oh, you go already. By the time the story reach a fifth person, it's a total different story. I mean, it's way past the fifth person. <laughs> Boy, I mean, I tell you. And in this situation and kind of situation like this, I know. You have all of the spiritually mature people, them now. Come out of the woodworks and just talk all type of thing. These are the contrarians, you know, the type of people who have to dip on the neck side. No matter what I go on, how over here so them day because people out there now say, Oh, our man are this and our man are that because we should do uh, uh, after curfew, this and that and oh she never did this why he's a fuck up mother. And pan the other hand now, you know, it's something the damn to kill and a kill and yard when she the home. You don't hear our mother coop her up and do let her out. The little girl need to be free. She's 17 plus to 18. A big woman, you cannot treat her like a child. And you don't hear them say a chow. And them that cuss the mother and I say what? She's a young person, you live your life already, all woman. And no found no way attack. Tell me something. What you need to do when you not kill an age and even younger? And no the parents know every single thing you need to do. Don't answer that. There is no real manual for parenting. We have to just try our best. Some people just like talk. Anything where they're on the next side over the other side. That is what them there. They have the opposite. Contrarians. Exactly. Yeah, man. But my brother, to, yeah. play, to play devil's advocate, um, yeah. there are a lot of unanswered questions um, that, that has arisen. Yeah. And people are speculating that if this was indeed, my brother, mm. a party like they say, that wouldn't there be an appearance of the video of this act um, providing that um, everyone is a journalist these days, my brother? Watch a man. It, they, none of them something they not even matter right now. What matter is that the little girl wake up, my brethren. So may I encourage everyone right now, keep the prayers them and the meditation just up. My yeah, brother, man. don't be dismissive. With what? I don't get the where, fact where that... I say? Where I said, uh, hold on. What happened? How could six grown women, one yeah. alleged to be pregnant, assault and I, I don't understand how, how they could do this to a child, my brother? What me don't understand is that the police them say at the initially them could not find a charge. I wonder why I'm to aggravated assault, abuse. Attempted murder and all them charge they look like say after a time some charge expire kind of too long and I use her. But I don't know I'm open to suggestions. One of my liar friend them call me, one of my police friend them does. Shout me and, and kinda of enlighten my darkness upon this. Because what? Me that me always open to learning, you know, because I don't know everything, you know. I'm past that with them girl I know. Alright, let me tell you something, man. I grew up in the ghetto, you know, my brethren. And most of you know things straight down there, you know. <laughs> I tell you that. Because in the ghetto, you have a thing with me call. The beta girl, Padna Dra. This is how we have 10 friends now. We par with one another, 10, 11 friends, and sometimes smaller. Them decide now, say, for anarchy time tonight, and a boy disrespect anarchy. 
Boy, take with silver, boy, dead. What you mean? What you mean? No stop them, no stop that to death. What? And if tomorrow night now a Simone draw no and a girl a take Simone, man, them just beat that girl there, all of them. You have to be like. I saw it work. You can't work. Hear me, I tell you that. I, I don't think. And you and me who are right now. Most of the people we are talking now and I say, yeah, jungle justice and them girl have a dead and all kind of thing. And I put up the woman in them picture and I blast them. The truth really is, most of what talk never dead it. I have the strongest opinion about who are who for a prisoner and who are who for dead. All me who have come out of that situation yeah, is that this little girl yeah, live out this thing here. Yeah, and the right people them face them punishment for this thing here. Yeah. Because I can't damn and I cannot damn. You can't so far from the situation and you are play. Judge, jury and executioner. You can't speculate for somebody's life whether it's about prisoner or jungle justice. Yeah, for sure. How oh, would I like if a man just take up your sister, your mother, your auntie, and just lock them up for something for 30 years and, and, and it's not them? Or beat them to death for something where them not do? So stop from these strong opinions about things we're not sure about, man. Hey, you don't need planet hurt, bad, bad in a rasta. All right, me I tell you now again, man. Just keep the prayer of them coming and the meditation, man. Yeah, man. All important now is for she come out of this thing, yeah. And next item I news, you know, is that dog bite up. This little boy, this, this little boy, a sent on Virgin. It's rough, you know, Virgin. I'm missing the video, but well, I mean, I know the wickedest thing I ever see for that band. In the meantime, boy, pastor, me, I tell you, if, mm-hmm. if, 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 if I was a Christian right now, me that, right, 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 right now, me that say, it look like God get some pussy, but Rasta, because it look like God would come. What you mean by that? What you mean, what you mean, Rasta? What you talking about? Hey! I don't know how so much fuck we are going one time in a bridge. Sin and corruption. Because look here again. What now? Them find a little six year old youth, a little youth named Oshien Bantan. Really? In a Lionel Town, Clarinda. So in sad. a pumping station. In a shit. What I know, Bridget? Oh my god. I feel this to me soul, Bridget, because oh I can gosh. relate to this. A tragedy. A tragedy. In the meantime. And to this little boy, your mother boy, I mean, you know, boy, I don't have words. But I, I just one thing, I just want to say to you right now, in that moment, yeah. I know exactly where you're there right now, you know, in, the, in the part where I say, I wonder if I could have done something better. I wonder if I did, I wonder if I, if I never go work, or if I never do, go yes or do this, that way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, self blame. I mean, no, say everything sound to you now when everybody are tell you this and God knows best and all kind of thing. You, you say to yourself, say, oh, you can't say anything. But believe me, mommy, me know, me, me go through it. Pain, certain pain we experience in our life, certain trauma, certain tragedy, we experience them. Because this pain here is a warning. It has to pay attention to something where we now focus on. Just try to be still and just shut off the world and get some time for yourself. And the nonsense I got start make sense. When some people do some wicked thing to you sometime, you know. For bring you down, or some people close to you. You have to realize that the best option, as hard as it might sound, is to give them exactly what they do. Huh? Become a mother where your son would have prouder. Even though him not have a body again, just carry him in a spirit. And remind the world of a little youth named O'Shane. Make people see him in the changes where you make with your life. May his memory never be blotted out. And that me do with Zion. And when him drop asleep, me wake and decide to live the objective truth upon the battlefield. Despite casualties. And any day, me drop out in the buckle. Me no say if you even forget me. You now forget Zion. Well, since this is a Clarendon situation, you know, boy, I mean, I say Clarendon, Lionel Tone. The whole Clarendon just. Well, the fate, all right. Which sang better right now? Who sang better right now? If we dedicate to this family I we were in grief than, a, than from a Clarendon artist. Not just a Clarendon artist, but a man from a family of artists. This song had upon the Mac 10 record label, yeah, man. I want to tell the item, say the producer for this one, yeah, contract the coronavirus. So with a man made or home made, ready made or tailor made, it out there. So be careful. Yes, David, get well soon. This youth, you know, again, is called Magic Flute. Yes, and this song, yeah, is also dedicated, yeah, man, to Shemar Johnson. Yeah, no bother with a kill self, something the bridge, you know, we all deal with. And it's also dedicated to everyone right now. We are going through some serious time when it comes to some tragic disappointment and let down. Here goes Magic Flute. 
It was magic flu. Yeah, if you know, so this is Lila, I can't write and now you're listening to In The Meantime with Curly Locks, The Voice Box. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. In The Meantime. In the meantime, up top, I'm represent for Curly Locks, the voice box. You understand? Stay in your own alien, yeah. Curly Locks, in the meantime. I'm coming from Magic Flute. Let me tell you, I want, a lot of ones and ones don't know some Magic Flute. This part of the song there, where they name the farming. Yeah, man, where it go viral some time ago. And his brother is Sagittar, yeah man, I tell you. When they do the Usain Bolt song some time ago. So I tell you, it's a musical family when on normal. Yes, big up Clarindon again. In the meantime. Yes, yes, yes. In the meantime, we continue, you know, yeah man. So I apologize again for any kind of inconvenience with the item often encounter from time to time. It is, it is not my intention and never my intention to be inconsistent with the release of any content, products or projects. Yeah, man, but as a business person, I apologize. But the yeah, item have to also be mindful that there are processes beyond my control. When me have to work with and when things change regarding those processes, it affect me and then by extension now it affect the item. And it's even worse in the corona time, you know, where some of the company, them are lose staff daily and them type of problem there. And if them do a certain thing towards my project or whatever, no, and they might experience that, it come back to me. And this show we know, this corona thing, yeah, show we know more than ever, say everything connect. And talking about release, me aim for between the 17th of December to the 25th for the release of Planet Hurt Volume 1, yeah, man, the idea and the process. I do some little minor marketing issues left it done, fine tune, and then a definite, definite release date. Very, 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 more than very soon. So pre-order yours now at www.planethurtbook.com and get it for that price while you can. All right, watch out now. We'll move on. Now. All right. In relation to the emasculated male and, yeah, what really a bring down society and... The misconstruing of roles where genders will play and them type of... Well, I mean, I know. It's sad So many don't see the game where the media play and them not even see say, music itself is media. Same way a music creator and manufacturer. Slave to immaturity in, 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 in the same way as any kind of media, social mainstream or otherwise. Now I'm going to play a song. One more song added to the long list in a dance hall history. We just designed for turn some already big idiot in so in a some big idiot and the idiot of the moment you know are the woman them right now we uh, have an entitled mindset the yeah, man we feel some man a slave to them interests and, and them woman they are the majority right now to all the social ladder go the song in question and our come from ayakteen the song name next it has suggests if a man nah, no money the woman will move on to a next one and that me or to tell me who no year we reach out to Ayaktien before I, I decide to make a talk on this thing. I mean, the man reason and the man sent a voice note to him say me have a, the, the full permission to play in defense. I'm sang on the program after the song play. So here goes. Here goes. Hey, that song ya. Yeah. Our sad piece of song in the Rasta. This a Titanic. You see the song as sad. Oh, you mean? How so? But imagine it. Instead of Titanic, imagine it as all relationship are sink. This a promote the joining of Jack and the saving of Rose. How so? Because the woman them with this kind of mindset, yeah. So man I treat them this a man no good and man overall are those wicked. Them know say the real issue deeper than that. Them know I lie them and live a while you help them live it. Alright, I'm going to play the clip them in a parts. This is actually Ayakteen. This is not me doing Ayakteen voice. In the meantime. In the meantime, and in between time, what is coming is coming. Actually, my all is, me, yeah, man, me agree with the things them way I said. Because my all is a saint from my life, and I tell him, girl, them say, listen, me, I look, holy pot, holy pot. Um, conversation. I'm going to let a conversation with a lot of women from my life, and my all is, because women are saying, oh, man, take care of that. I mean, so that should never be the sole purpose of a man. I always feel like women should be independent enough so them can have them own perspective in a relationship. When a woman don't have, when a woman 
out solely and dependent and upon a man some majority of the time the man you know maybe take advantage of the situation array so they must see them as an item instead of see them as a human being see or a good man is tell them that well acting let me tell you something virgin not not all we say another voice note that don't have nothing don't have one fuck for doing that song that when me just play because if you go say the song when me just play is all about them the way you are where you are talking about no matter wrong song you put out man all right, let me play the second part of the clip here, this clip here, before we get into it fully. A man should take care of him, man. You understand? Yeah. I'm going to take care of Take care of physically, sex, everything. Um, mentally, I'm supposed to motivate her. Spiritually, I'm supposed to motivate her. You understand? So, financially, I'm supposed to make sure she's all right, too. We have a lot of man out there now. We should be ridiculed also when I contribute nothing. So, you know, it is the first line, Mr. Gallen, I sell pussy, but your body is not for free. You understand? So, this is for the females, them out there, where them have ambition, them have something going on. So, why should a man, why should a good, good girl with ambition and all those things, as I said, where you hear me saying enough of my feet of them, this is enough for the girl them without ambition. You see? But you still have to make the song as graphic as, as, as much as you can. Because I dance as I do. So we still have to make the song re relatable. Bridging, you can't have it both ways. We are going to say, she now sell her body, but money have to run. If money have to run, I sell you, I sell it. And if a woman want to live the life, they choose to live the life. She's a big woman. I don't make no judgment of her. But I say own it. That's all I say. You don't get to be a classy, mature and supportive wife. Who no willing to take equal risk of possible failure or loss to make the relationship work. You don't get to go the finish line go wait for the man. If you don't do it, I see a yarn him do it. Why oh, you arrive at that? Because in the song, the mm. man just have generalized with everything. And where am I big up the woman for? Where am I say the best quality she have? Pussy! You have good pussy so you know for in a bus back. And you say you love and concern about them, but yet still, you have say taking care of them is a man bringing them to a year dress or parlor as well, you say. So you're more concerned about what go up on them head more than what go in at them head. Why you never say them for go back to school? And you say the song for relatable, I guess, to the culture where follow dance all music, and that is ghetto. So you tell them, say, for next, every time somebody don't meet them demand, every time there's a challenge, every time something come with them to work through, them to just keep moving. Because perfection is out there. And yet still, in a your voice note, you say, you tell them every day, say, you know, believe, say, a man's sole purpose, have a mind them. You contradict yourself, Bridget. And then in the same song, you go say, what list boy alone want fuck girl and not spend money. But let me ask you something. When you was a young you, what did I aspire for be? When it, when 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 the acting that we are when we are, when we are dealing with right now was just a potential, was just an idea in a young Ayaktian mind at that time when Ayaktian broke. You never used to get no pussy. And when you reach a start for, so what you say no, you assume no, say. Acting is the only youth where the poor uh, aspire for something and come um, and come achieve greatness. No more youth like you will have that type of ambition, they under focus, they're not left. In a poverty. So what I say, in the meantime, him no for fuck till him get greatness then. Your song assume, say money solve everything. But not no go so. The real problem is spiritual immaturity. We affect 95% of girl and boy. Immature people are the majority of every nation and culture upon the face of the earth. These type of people are not attracted. In any way, shape, or form to the kind of thinking, the kind of actions, the kind of lifestyle we take to truly achieve the things where them, where, where them say they want. They're not attracted to their own upliftment. You no, see? man, they're not attracted to the kind of information. They overlook that in pursuit of the instant gratification. They want everything. No. And therefore, always I end up with nothing. And the man where you think what list become now, no money, and no problem, yes, sir. Them immature women and not love nothing like how them love the actual worthless man when I have no fucking ambition. And your song is going to make the woman them disrespect the good one them because they see them as weak. The one where I run them way and say them now buy them no bed because they're going to fuck other man upon that. 
At them, the human rate because for them immature mind interpret this man your weakness as strength. Is that so? Yeah, man, them love him because him depend on them level and them same frequency. They're impatient, you say. Yeah. That's sad reality. Patience at them Achilles heel, in other words. Something will hold them back, something will stop them. Them mind stuck on a setting when him, I am missing out. Them can't sit down here and read a book for 20 minutes, but they will read 5,000 comments. Have to keep no. up with the Joneses. Yeah, man, them can't settle. Them have to always a compete because somebody put on a better blouse than them by Instagram, and them have to do. Oh, them have to better than a girl. This are the disease where immature people have. Yeah, say man, if you take care of them woman spiritually, physically, every alley, me agree with that 100. percent But here, what is the problem? When people are spiritually immature, there is it impossible to take care of them because them cannot have enough. Yeah, go assume some money. There's, there's money, money will help everything. Bridget, let me tell you something, man. Me see some woman who come from country who we open a some bush where me can't even describe which part of the place they there. You used to shit in a scandal bag and fling it away. Pick tile it and lugs with them. Never used to niam for all three, four days sometime. Jankro picture the little bodos when never have no roof or wait for them dead. I miss him and take up that woman there and take care of her, give her everything she can ever imagine in her life. The man worth 200 million US, excluding assets. And the man go introduce her to him 500 and 600 million dollar worth of friend them. In a no time, him go catch her a sucker of one of them 600, 700 million dollar cocky there. That's so true. I often wonder why these ladies often do that though. Because at them immature. What me always say is the hallmark of immaturity. Greed, them don't know when them have enough. Every time them achieve something, them always want. Them set a new goal to get better than the one where them have. So in a, in a, in a fair mind, I was born broke when compared to these so much hundred million dollar people. And the idea said there is always better make you see some of them kill all their husband and kill them wife. All kind of fuckery. Immature people cannot have enough. No limits. Exactly, Bridgerine. Them, them not going to have the type of patience. Way tech. Them not going to have the faith for work with nobody if you achieve nothing. Most of them are saying, oh, them not hold it with no boy. I wear no one dress and one skirt to make sure that they achieve this thing here together. Cause boy can left. So what I'm to do how much time when the woman them just gang and suck you much hundred million dollar cocky. No left she left. No years this she there with this a man you and just gone. Fame life then a waste too. If you're not mature, you cannot angle fame, success, nothing. Me no money necessary, you know. And them say Jesus did say money answer it all things, but a maturity did ask the question them where money can answer. Because you have to mature to manage money instead of money manage you. Because a proper management determines what way you get to keep. And managing means organizing things, specializing in a particular person or idea. So acting me, I tell you, say the problem is uh, immaturity. And it might, it, you have a thing too, it might be immaturity even by, by your part. You might just want to hit song and a business with the consequence. You might just say, oh, when I dick stand up, type of song them. Yeah, man, you could have, I say, boy, right now, oh, I want to have them giddy head girl, they draw me off a stage too. I want them semi important too, and I just tell them all kind of fuckery and just mash up them life and go on with my own. Yeah, man. Quite possible, say, you do your maths and your survey, and say, 95% of people are idiots, and you have to appeal or panda to these idiots. Which make business sense if an idiot I go buy that product there and you have to just play the politics, but own it if I that you do because nothing about the song where you say about the song no make no sense. Just know say if a politics you are play acting, you do it at the expense of the kind of relationship setting where your daughter go on because you do a song we contribute to the narrative or storyline we create the kind of conflict we are gonna make the kind of man where she thinks she deserve eat her. The kind they have to build him riches and him success on him own. Actin, this would not be true if me never bad. Hey! In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Hey! Time. 